This is uh, probably the most controversial thing. Um, you, you know they're doing a piece on wrestling and exposing the business. I guess they did it with, uh, I think it was Eddie Mansfield, and yeah. there was somebody else on there as well. I forgot uh, who was on there. Uh, there was another one. Uh, somebody, Jim, somebody. Oh, uh, Jim, the, the guy that's on from the 70s. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Forgot, I forgot his last name. He's yep, on Georgia. Every, yep. Yeah, he's on every TV talk show. Right. Yep, did, yep. You, did you know what the piece was going to be about? Did you know that? I knew that. Uh, what I was, I was in. I, I'll tell you. I was in the dressing room that night. Vince come in, and he called me over to the side. Uh, Al Fonseca was in there. Fuji was there. The Iron Sheik. Everybody. The old bad guy. He said, "David, we got a guy that's making a joke out of the business. I want you to go out and do an interview with him. I want you to blast him. I want you to stay in character. Be Doctor D." And do an interview, but blast him. And he said, just uh, he'll be over here in a minute, blah, blah, whatever. So all you guys heard him tell me that. So I'm going to stand there in the hallway. They come get me. He's over there with these camera guys in the hallway, Master Square Gun. And that's when he starts. You know, uh, he does his interview. And he does it a couple of times. They stop and they start back. And then they start and stop back, you know. And then finally he does it. And I ask him, I say, is that all you got? And then that's when he says, Hey, I'll ask you a standard question. I think it's fake. At that time, I thought he said, I think you're fake. Which, this is national TV we're talking about. Madison Square Garden going all over the world. I said, my mama slapped me open hand slap. You know, when I hit him, I slapped him. He said, I hit him on the ear. No, I didn't hit him on the ear. I've stopped the tape. I slapped him on his face. Uh, I call it bitch slapping him. That's what I did. Right. And then he got up and I bitch slapped him again. He takes off running out the arena, and you can see all the guys stand there just, you know, watching it. They know what's going to happen. So Vince comes down the hall like, hey, what are you, what's wrong with you, Dave? Blah, 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 blah. <coughs> oh, excuse me. After, you get, after all that's over, I go in the dressing room. After my match with Tony Anoki, he comes down and says, David, get out of here, get your gun, go to the Howard Johnson's, and go on, get out of here, uh, you know, in case we have a problem. So, that night, he called me at the Howard Johnson. Oh, you're okay. Everything's good. You did a good job. Don't worry about it. Blah, 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 blah. And then I was at the office in uh, Stanford, or Green, Greenwich, the new, not, not the new office, the old office. And he called me and said, hey, you did a great job. That's what we want. That's good. And congratulations. All this, all this. And then later on, he says, I'm going to send you to Japan. And we're going to keep you out of here a while until the stuff's settle over and don't worry about it. You'll be okay. Come back to Japan. You go to Egypt. You go to different places. We'll keep you out of here for six, eight months, bring you back. You're with Hogan again. Right. So I go to Japan. As soon as I get to Japan, Anoki, uh, his people come in and say, hey, we want to do um, a TV uh, thing like you did on Stossel because they had front page over there where I did Stossel all this year. And he wanted me to hit a reporter. So the reporter come in, we come in, he come in, I slapped him. He went down, kicked him a couple of times. The guy runs around with a bandage on his head for five weeks. So, you know, after after that, I looked like all I did was beat up reporters. So I never thought anything about it until on deposition time. And I was called in for deposition, and Vince's attorneys, First, one of the first questions they asked me, do you, you make a habit of beating up TV reporters? And they bring out the Japanese picture. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sitting there saying, dong, you know. Right. I've been had. So that was the first time I realized that I'd really got, you know. And then from then on, uh, Vince wanted me to take the complete. He said, I did it on my own. He didn't give me no direction to do it, didn't do anything. I said, no, I'm not going to perjure myself and say, you know, lie to, uh, you know, on a deposition. I'm going to tell the truth. Right. And he said, well, you know, I didn't tell you to hit him. I didn't tell you to do anything. You did that on your own. Oh, yeah, right. You go out and do an interview with John Stoss in 2020, Madison Square Garden, without somebody telling you to do it. It don't happen. Live TV, it don't happen anywhere. John Stoss on his deposition, and Vince McMahon deposition, Vince McMahon says he told John Stossel not to go anywhere to interview no wrestlers anywhere in the, in the building. This is only a deposition now, and I just happen to have a copy of these depositions. I don't have them with me, but I got them. Right. John Stossel on his deposition said that Vince McMahon directed him to me. Also, 
John Stossel said he interviewed Eddie Mansfield before he come to the, you know, a weeks before. Right. And that Eddie Mansfield told him, do not go to David Schultz and talk to him about wrestling being fake. Eddie Mansfield told him, do not go to David Schultz. And he says that on his deposition. So if you've been forewarned not to come talk to me about wrestling being fake, why would you do it? I mean, that don't, that don't take, I, I, the boy, you know, he, he got a, uh, a screw loose. Yeah, you got a screw loose. His uh, elevator don't go to the complete top floor. Or got a bunch of candles, but they all ain't lit or right. something. So, and I, I just, this offered just a little deposition I, I read. And evidently Vince was saying one thing and Stossel was saying something else on the deposition. Completely different. So you know what? Somebody's a liar. Right. One of them's a liar, or both of them's a liar, and both of them telling lies and whatever, you know. Uh, I offered to go back on 2020. I offered to go on there and sit down with them. They asked me if I'd come on. I said, sure. <coughs> Excuse me. I said, I will come on and do your show, but it has to be live. No cutting, no leaving me right. on the cutting floor, cutting mm -hmm. room floor, no making John Stossel a hero. And then here last year, I see Stossel out doing a book. He got a book. Huh. He's on Maury Povich or somebody. You know, this guy, after 22 years or whatever, journalism, whatever he did, you know, I would feel, I, w I would be so embarrassed to come out and say, the greatest thing I've ever did was get bitch slapped on national TV. That's the highlight of my career. And he's using me, slapping him on all of these talk shows, promoting his book. Huh. And that's the biggest thing he's done. I mean, that's... <laughs> That is pathetic to go out and tell an uh, audience that, hey, uh, you know, I got bitch slapped on national TV. That's my highlight, you know, 20-something years journalism. And that's the best thing you come out with.